What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we have a hands-on look at Bulova's latest release. It's the Bulova Lunar Pilot with a meteorite dial and grade five titanium case. This watch was only released five days ago. However, I have one hands-on to show you guys. So without further ado, let's flip the camera and take a look at the limited edition Bulova Lunar Pilot with a meteorite dial and a grade five titanium case. So here it is. This is the Bulova Lunar Pilot limited edition in grade five titanium with a meteorite dial in 43.5 millimeters, which is the original size of the watch that actually went to the moon. Back in 1971 on August 2nd, during Apollo 15, Dave Scott was wearing his Speedmaster when the crystal popped out. He was going out to do an EVA, so he picked up the watch that he brought with him, and that was a Bulova Lunar Pilot. And the rest is history. That watch eventually would sell at auction for millions of dollars. Bulova would eventually come out with a version of that watch in 45 millimeters. They later came out with two versions in 43.5 millimeters. Those were all polished cases. Today, we are getting a grade five titanium version of that 43.5 millimeter watch. This is the original size. So the watch that actually went to the moon was in this case size. So that's the reason why they've done it in this case size before coming out with a smaller version because there are tons of people asking for it. And hopefully one day they even come out with an automatic version or a manual wine version, that would be very cool as well. However, this is a step in the right direction. You're getting a meteorite dial with black subdials and no date. There's a lot going on on this dial already because you have that meteorite pattern, you have those black subdials, it's a chronograph. Adding the date would only clutter it, so they did not put a date on here. This is a titanium and stainless steel mixture. They don't tell you exactly what is stainless steel. However, I would imagine that the clasp and all the keepers, those are on stainless steel. You have a leather strap here. What they've done here is a little bit clever. It's attached to the case with spring bars, but then you have this pass-through. So it's a single pass-through. It looks like a double pass-through, but it's actually a single pass-through. Very soft, very beautiful leather strap that they've put on here. It's all black with a matte finish. The case is exactly what you know and love about the Bulova Lunar Pilot. You have a very high bezel on here. It is flat on the sides, polished, and then you have that very high boxed sapphire crystal that looks phenomenal. It makes it look a little bit vintage, even though this is a modern watch, it looks a little bit vintage. And then of course you're getting that giant crown that's signed with the Bulova logo, the tuning fork, and then those long, beautiful pushers for the chronograph. The case back, which is screwed in, you get 50 meters of water resistance, has a really cool depiction of an astronaut standing on the moon. I guess that is Dave Scott. And then of course it says Apollo 15, it gives you the date, it tells you where the meteorite is from, and then of course it's a limited edition and it gives you the number that it is limited to and what number you have, which is awesome. It's a screwed in case back, you even have a little polish on there, which looks great. Everything about this watch, I think they got right. You still get the 262 kilohertz movement inside, which is the movement that they've been using in all of the versions, no matter what, if it's 45 millimeters or 43 millimeters, eventually, like I said, I think they'll come out with something that's automatic or hand wound, but that will be significantly more expensive. Speaking of price, I think this is a great price for a watch that has the features that it does. Number one, a meteorite dial, and number two, a grade five titanium case, which is more scratch resistant, and you obviously get some polish because of that on the case, usually with a grade two titanium case, scratches a lot more easy, and of course you don't get polishing, and if you do, it scratches immediately. This looks great and feels actually pretty light in your hand. This is $1,495. I think that's a pretty good price considering the provenance behind the watch and then of course that it's in grade five titanium and meteorite. So you're getting a lot for that money. It's a beautiful watch and obviously they're selling pretty quickly. This is a limited edition of 5,000, but I think they're gonna sell pretty quickly. Measurements on this watch are around 41 millimeters at the bezel. So I would say this wears like a 42 and a half millimeter watch 
not a 43 millimeter watch in my opinion. If you measure the case, it comes in under 43.5. It comes in around 43 millimeters. If you include these pushers and the edge of this pusher right here, it measures in at around 43 and a half millimeters. I think that's how they get that measurement, giving you or splitting the difference with those pushers. So this does wear a little bit smaller than its dimensions. And then you have a pretty long lug to lug. Lug to lug here is 49 millimeters. Thickness is 13.5 millimeters, including the pass-through NATO strap, the single pass-through NATO strap. It's 14.5 millimeters. Today on my wrist, I have another limited edition from the Citizen Group. This is the Ecozilla Godzilla collaboration. This one is limited to 3,000 pieces. Eco Drive, very large watch with a beautiful red dial that is sort of red camouflage inspired by the skin of Godzilla. And there it is on my seven and a half inch wrist. I wouldn't say this wears like a 43 and a half millimeter watch. I would say it wears like a 42, 42 and a half millimeter watch on my seven and a half inch wrist. It looks like a 42 millimeter watch as well. 13 and a half millimeter thickness. 14 and a half on this strap. So it wears pretty close to the wrist considering it's a NATO strap. It is a single pass through NATO strap, kind of clever and I really like it. Uh, I think it's a really nice quality. Overall, I think this is a good looking watch and it wears well on my seven and a half inch wrist. Well, there you go, the loom, very good on this watch, very nicely applied to the hands and indices. You even have loom on the sub second hands, which is great, and the loom on the chronograph hands. So you can see that everything is working in the dark. I really like that. I think that Bulova are sort of taking a page out of Omega's book and coming out with a few really cool limited edition versions of one of their very popular watches. This is sort of their Speedmaster. And the story behind it is awesome because it's the Speedmaster that failed and obviously the Lunar Pilot took over and was able to help out Dave Scott. Pretty cool story behind it and obviously a very good looking watch in my opinion and pretty good history as well. Tell me what you guys think down in the comments below. I know that Bulova have started something called hashtag not so speedy like not Speedy Tuesday or something like that. Uh, I'll put that hashtag in the uh, uh, on the screen so you guys can see what I'm talking about. And that's what they tag this watch on Instagram with very, very often. I'll be doing the same because I think this is a pretty cool watch. Guys, tell me what you think down in the comments below. I wanna hear from you guys. Please also don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that bell icon. I'll put a link down in the description below as well to this watch if you are interested. Anyway guys, thank you for logging on. I'll catch you guys in the next video.